that was a man down there. I thought that was a man looking at me on the ground. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I am here in Huntsville, Alabama at, what's the name of it? Uh, Railway Antiques or whatever. Railroad Antiques. Yeah, and complain there. Yes, this was actually your idea because I have to tell you, Huntsville has a ton of antique spots, and we were racking our brains trying to choose because there are like at least six that you could just be like, yeah, let's go there. But uh, we, we only had time for a few. So we're gonna go in here to Railroad Antiques in downtown Huntsville, and we'll see what we can find in there. See what we see. Well, it's really sad, but a lot of it is sort of this stylized, not much antiques. I mean, we have like craft projects and things like that. So, I mean, that's there. We've got some balls. Oh, there's a second and third floor. Well, maybe it's divided up in different aesthetics. I'll have to go upstairs too. Okay. Well, let's go upstairs. Let's just give that a shot. Well, here's a cool piece, but unfortunately the price is not good for me for resale. Um, $68 for the plastic 1970s Lux clock. Very on trend. Love that boho, bohemian but I can't do the price. Uh, yeah, Aaron's a little disappointed. He thought there was going to be railroad stuff in here because you know the name. The name, oh, paper, or uh, bookends. 65 for that pair. That's a cute tin with the soldiers on it. $25, it says biscuit tin in England. Isn't that adorable? You could just put that out for Christmas. I think that'd be so cute. This is a Royal Dalton mug up here. $40. It says it's politically incorrect. Oh, right, because they're playing, you know, the see, that's a pretty mid-century. Shawnee, Shawnee. This is a Lennox vase for 20. I lost Aaron. <laughs> There's actually another floor above us. Which he might have already went to. Oh, there he is. There he is. We have another floor to go. Oh, that's a nice little wishing well planter. It's a bit older. Oh, it's called Railroad Station. I don't know if I've been calling it the right thing. 27. 27. All right, let's go up to the third floor. And the third floor, we've got clothes. But I also noticed this adorable elephant set over here. 32 for the chained elephants. So cute. Okay, let's see what we got. These floors are so pretty. So pretty. That's a nice couch set up. We have some interesting furniture. Yeah. Oh boy, aren't these fun? It's an entire set. Oh, so these are made by, I don't know, because it doesn't say. Um, is it like West? No, I know who it is. Chromex. I was racking my brain trying to remember that. Chromex with a K. Um, ooh, but look at the plastic. It's been split. Oh, and chipped. Split and chipped. Um, $89. Oh, it even says Chromex right on the darn tag. Um, so it's great that they actually have the grease with the strainer. You got the coffee. Sugar's a bit messed up. The flour. Nice. And the tea. <clears throat> so that's great. We like that. Okay, over here. We have some of these Ruby Red by Anchor Hawking. They're just vases from the 50s. So those are good. Look at that. They say that they're Franciscan. So these are Franciscan and they have the TV back stamp. Dates to about the 60s. And the color is really pretty. You've got the blue and the purple. 
isn't that lovely? A bit more weight on them than tr tr traditional Franciscan dishes, but I like it. And those are really fun. They're kind of nautical looking like a shell. So that's always great. Rocket. Is it like a flashlight? That is cool. Put your savings in orbit. It's Barnett National Bank, Cocoa, Florida. $59. That is so neat. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I think it's cool. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and head out of here. Oh, I thought that was a man down there. I thought that was a man looking at me on the ground. But I think we're gonna go ahead and go. There's a place next door, if my memory's correct. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. We'll Unless it's the same there. place. But we're gonna head over there and take a look and see what we can find. Um, there's an interesting eclectic assortment here, but not quite enough for me. Ooh, there's a peacock chair over there. That's really Anyway, you're getting very, very tired. On the way out, I wanted to show this $150 for the Art Deco frame and the pastel picture of the dog. Isn't that cute? So, um, it's a bit much for me for an Art Deco frame, but we love it. Here's a Majolica plate, maybe for clams? Okay, so it's $89. This is Seymour Man. Look at all of the jewel boxes. Oh my gosh. Yes, we're still in the same building. 50% off, but you know, 95. Oh my gosh. Look at this one over here. Um, 250. Yes, it's because it's beautiful. Ugh. We love it. And look at these. Forty-five neighbors in here. He owns the whole thing. Little, little oh, price. Beautiful. Oh. He says that the place next door is pricey. I'm scared. Uh, you know. Yeah. I'm scared. What else is here? Uh, Ooh. This looks like Murano. One twenty. There's a lot of cute things in this booth. All right, now we're gonna go ahead into Top Key Market and see if it's on the top shelf, if it's top shelf material. All right, there's an assortment of lots of different things here. There is a good amount of vintage mixed in. And then we also have like lots of newer things too. So it's kind of boutique-y, crafty. There's like crafts and all kinds of things. So it's one of those things where you just kind of have to see like each booth is different, of course. Look at that train. That's neat. It's on sale at 75. It's made by Marks, M-A-R-X. I thought this song was over. I just literally, they went, are, okay, we, be right back. Okay, the song's fading out again. Um, cat, set of three, and I don't know what they mean because every one of them says cat owl, $2, $2, $2, $2. Cat set of three. Oh, so it's these? Cat set of four owls, eight. Oh my gosh. So this cat set of owls. Wait, maybe her name is Cat. Oh, everything's Cat. Because, okay, this song is... All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. All right, I just found this. This is a really pretty cloisonne salt and pepper. And they have $16 on it. So there's the salt. And then look, the little, or actually no, this might be the pepper. And then the salt, you could pinch it out of there like a salt cellar. Isn't that cute? And then it just sets on there. So um, it's $16 and I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I'm gonna ask out at the front about the owls cause I don't know. This is pretty. Now this is actually Northwood and custard glass. You know what, let me get out my keys and show you. I did not even check to make sure that these actually glow, but they should. Some clustered glass will glow under black light. Aha! Uh -huh. See the green? That's the uranium inside of it. So again, not all clustered glass will glow, but it will oftentimes. And then I just noticed them over here actually. So this is uh, Northwood as well. And this one is not actually glowing, I don't think. Or maybe it is. Eh, maybe, I can't tell. You could I could definitely tell this one was. 
Yeah, there we go. You see the green. Hmm. Very cool. All right, so here we actually have Goofus glass. From the looks of it, you wouldn't know that, but because it's just white milk glass, but the color has been worn away from it. So it is most Goofus glass it has like this one here is a white milk, white base, and then your color over it. Obviously, there you, you have clear, but Goofus glass you can really tell because it usually has lots of florals all over it. It's very ornate looking. So, and then we've got some ashtrays down here. Oh, here's more Goofus glass, $18. And this is a big thing about Goofus glass is a lot of times it's really, really chippy because the paint is applied to the underside, which gets the most wear, like especially on that rim there, you can see. So, you know, where it's handled more often and it's not really protected at all. The, this side is protected because it's literally just gla clear glass. Um, but the bottom, ooh, look at this beautiful milk, um, slag glass, the brown. You don't see the brown very often. I think, pretty sure they call that chocolate. Chocolate milk glass or chocolate slag glass. Very pretty, look at this jar back here. That is pretty. $38 for that, like biscuit jar. They're checking on my owls. I might end up getting all of them. I don't know. It depends on the price. Ooh, the carnival class looks so pretty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Look at those lamps. The one on the right, especially, I like. See that with the flowers? That is really pretty. All right, so I'm glad I asked. Asked it? it? because, oh, I forgot to get 20% off on that one thing, whatever, because the owls ended up being $2 each. They just couldn't figure it out. So they called the vendor, <laughs> they called the vendor and they were like, what? Cause none of it made sense. Uh, so I got them for $2 each. I chose three of them. So I paid $6. I got like the largest one, a medium sized one and a little one because I think they look good together. Um, and then the Quasine, salt and pepper is pretty cool. Um, but I should have gotten 20% off of 16 or 15, whatever it was. Mm. Okay, so I think we'll wrap it up now. We did pretty good here, and thanks for watching. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.